Welcome back everyone to another Time for Two Law video, where today we'll be looking into the Cole and Calculator Simulacrum, who works under the Division Dynamics, and at one point the Apex Predators and enjoy experimenting and testing new weaponry for the IMC, whether friend or foe. Ash, or her past name, Ashley Reed, is one of the many antagonists in Time for Two that the main protagonist has to face and then reappears back in Apex Legends as a continuation of her own story. Now Ash is a character that we still don't know a lot about, such as how she became a Simicrum, what her main objectives are, and why has she now reappeared in Apex games after so long. But this is something we can cover over time and hopefully it may lead to some more information outside of the events of Titan 4 as a whole. So first and foremost, for us to understand the character and the main objectives in life, we must look at the beginning, to the past, and Ash has quite a murky one. Ash was originally human and went by the name of Ashley Reed, who at the time was an assistant to the renowned astrophysics Dr. Mary Somers. Both lived in the flying city of Olympus on the planet Pashmir. They worked to solve an energy crisis plaguing the frontier, and I would believe this must have been set way before the events of the first Titan Wars. Now, at one point, Ash betrayed Dr. Somers seemingly for the objective of an unknown third party, and then became the head of Peck Labs in Olympus. While she was there, she also helped in the Iris project where her and other scientists helped in building the Mervin known as Pathfinder, who later on in the events of Apex, helped with fixing her back to her original form. After the events of Mervin being created, Ash disappeared completely but not long after, reappears as the newly formed Simulacrum. It is still unknown what led to her becoming a Simulacrum and mercenary, and we still don't know whether she did this for motivated reasonings, or if she was killed and then forcibly transferred. It is believed that the Remnant fleet is known to hold information about Ash's past in the data banks, and this is another unknown area as the Remnant fleet are even more of a bigger mystery with their own objectives. I theorise that Vision Dynamics worked with Ash in the past and caused her to betray Sumas for the research she was working on, and something along the line happened that caused her to be transformed into a Simicrum and thus get her memories wiped. She has a deep connection with them from how she operates and both parties enjoy experimenting collecting data, allies or enemies. After becoming a well established pilot, she became a successful mercenary pilot in the Apex Predators, piloting a customised Ronin class Titan. Her first introduction was at the Battle of Typhon following the initial assault by the 9th Militia Fleet. She and the other Apex Predators ambushed BT-7274 and Tai Latimosa, and incapacitate the two while mopping up any survivors. Following this, once BT and Jack Cooper linked up as official partners, they headed to the dynamic testing facility to where Ash Cumley was located. Through a number of rigorous events and trying to reclaim BT, Jack Cooper eventually ends up into the simulation dome to which Ash wants to test the pilot's skills against the newly constructed Reapers. At first, testing is showing promising signs and enhancements that can be made. However, against Ash's expectations, Cooper would survive and escape the confines of the dome. This would lead to Bliss berating Ash for wasting time instead of simply killing the militia pilot, leading to Ash activating the facility's self-destruct, even though the IMC forces under her are also at risk. This nearly goes to plan until Ash would confront Cooper and BT to prevent the duo's escape resulting in a very fierce close quarter battle. Ultimately, Ash would be killed and Cooper would escape the facility. Following her supposed death at the hands of Jack Cooper, Ash would be rebuilt by the arms manufacturer Vision Dynamics and contracted to lead their own military force while collecting data on their behalf. It is unknown as to whether Ash and Vincent Dynamics were familiar before the events of Typhon, or whether Vision Dynamics was able to retrieve what remained of her body before the planet's destruction. Like I mentioned, both parties have similar goals I wouldn't be surprised if the manufacturer knew her before her change, but are using her for her own gain. Now this is where things start to get odd as sometime after the Battle of Typhon and some years before the Apex games took place, Ash's head was thrown by Cuban Blisk into some kind of blue energy mass, seemingly as a last ditch effort for some kind of plan. What this energy mass was is unclear, but it caused Ash's head to be transported into an alternative dimension where it was broken into 9 pieces and scattered across King's Canyon. Around the year 2730, Hammond Robotics made a contract with Loba in exchange for a rebuilt Ash 
Ammon would give Luba the coordinates of the facility holding Revenant's source code. Luba recruits the other legends to help with the task, in exchange for help with their own personal problems. After some difficult excursions, Ash's head is rebuilt and installed on what remains of a body, in the ruins of a facility underneath Slum Lakes, in the main dimensions, King's Canyon. Sometime later, Pathfinder discovers her lying in a dumpster behind a Hammond building. All Ash could remember was her name and the fact that Hammond had extracted codes from her memory banks. Pathfinder takes Ash back to his warehouse home. Later, he invites Rampart and Mirage over to meet Ash, who he interests as his girlfriend. While talking to Ash, Rampart seems to trigger the sudden return of Ash's memory, including memories of the legends resembling her head. Immediately after the flashback, she is secretly contracted by Blisk, who later arrives to meet Ash while nobody else is around. After clearing up a misunderstanding that he tried to kill Ash, he tells her that an old friend of hers has resurfaced, and they leave Pathfinder's home together. And now, Ash is currently back to her full potential and what she does next is something that we have to wait at a later date. Whatever her plan is though, it will definitely follow in the same footsteps that she had back in the testing facility to create something worth using and collecting vast amounts of data. Some people believe she will come back as a playable legend, while others believe she will be a spectator, but with more of an active role. For now, we must wait and see what gets unveiled. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny and Titanfall 2 content. If you dig that type of stuff, the link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, I'll see you on the next one.